Jesus, He came to love. Oh, I forgive. He bled and died to bear my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior. Easter Sunday. Actually, it's a holy land for Methodists in the southeast. I'm at Lake Junaluska here with Memorial Chapel behind me and Stewart Auditorium over to my right. It is there that all the bishops are elected for the southeastern churches and they uh, are consecrated here before serving in the various conferences. You've seen the picture of me uh, out there with my father uh, in 1946 when I was a little boy. Uh, so it's a very special place for me and for a lot of uh, fellow Methodists here in the Southeast. There is a cross and I have already put that picture in. There is a cross uh, that is lighted built in 1922 and it was uh, done by the Wesley uh, Bible classes of the Western Conference. Uh, that lighted cross 
well, at one time Lake Joluska was closed in the winter months, and the engineers of the Southern Railroad uh, took up an offering so that that cross could be lighted when they would come around the mountain, they could see the light of the cross. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the very first Easter sermon. And the text is found in John the 20th chapter, uh, the 18th verse. And it says, I have seen the Lord. Now, you know, uh, words are so important. I think about when I was in seminary, a professor of ours said, that's about all we have to convey meaning and to convey the gospel and to uh, suggest to our people uh, that following Christ is the way we should all uh, uh, pursue. Uh, words are so important. Uh, but these three words uh, that we have here, I have seen. I have seen what? I have seen the Lord. The very first Easter sermon was preached by a woman. And that's interesting because the place of women, especially in that society, was not very good. But these are the words of Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene had a shady past. It is thought that she was a harlot. She was from the town of Magdala, which is a small town above the Sea of Galilee, up on the mountain side. And it says in the Gospel that she was afflicted by seven devils. And Jesus cast out those devils. And Mary was the first one to come to the tomb on the Easter morning. Uh, for 19 centuries, uh, preachers like myself have been preaching Easter sermons, but the honor of preaching the very first Easter sermon goes to a woman by the name of Mary, Mary of Magdala. According to the Jewish view, suffering was a result of some punishment and some sin. And so Mary was considered a great sinner in the eyes of all the people in Israel in those days. But upon that first morning of the week, early, when it was yet dark, she braved her superstitions, she braved her fears, and she went to the tomb to anoint the body of Jesus and to finish what had been started on Saturday. And when she got there, she found in the darkness, and it was a real darkness, she found that the stone had been rolled away the soldiers who were guarding there were like asleep. They were in a trance. And fearing to go in, she went back and found the disciples. And that's when she preached that first sermon. I have seen the Lord. I have seen the Lord. Oh, that every one of us could say that very same thing. And you remember what happened. Peter and John left what they were doing and they ran to that garden tomb and there they found well first John got there he was younger and he arrived before Peter but Peter arrived and the brash bold Peter went right on into the tomb and when he got inside it he found there was nobody Jesus was alive and then Jesus appeared to them and to all the disciples except Thomas at that time. And there are at least seven uh, accounts of uh, the resurrection of Jesus is being seen. We memorialize Mary with that wonderful hymn that we sing in the garden. I come to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses. And the voice I hear falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me I am his own. And the joy we know 
as we tarry there, none other can ever know. Pray with me. Thank you, God, that we are all a part of the Easter people. We pray for those who are suffering this day, for those whose lives are threatened, and for the families of those who have been lost. Be with us and bear with us, and keep our eyes lifted up to the cross and to the empty tomb, so that we may claim the promise that Jesus made, that he would come and would receive us to himself. In his name we pray. Amen.